Hey everybody, so I just wanted to kind of show you guys something uh, pretty crazy that I found on the Angus Reid uh, polling website. Percentage that selected each as top, that, sorry, percentage that selected each as a top issue in Canada over time, highlight each in legend for comparison. So if we go down here, right, we have issues like the economy, the deficit, and, you know, taxes, and, and income inequality and whatnot. So all the issues that people are worried about. And it fluctuates, you know, ever since 2014, looks like that's when they started to go back and track this data. So there's a whole bunch of fluctuations, right? But that's not really what I found interesting in this poll. What I find very interesting is this purple line up here. Cost of living slash inflation. 60% of people selected this as a top issue in Canada ever since September of 2022. It's been fluctuating and hovering around 60% the whole time. It's the number one issue, and it's not even close. The next one is taxes and income inequality, around 15%. Canadians understand that we're getting absolutely killed with cost of living and inflation, and it's the biggest issue, 60%. Now, somehow, some of these idiots are going to vote for the, for the very person who actually caused this, being Justin Trudeau and his cabinet full of morons. That's fine. You can still have your vote. Most of these people are going to have enough common sense to think, oh, who, when was, the last time rent was good, who was in charge? Oh, the conservatives. I know it's much more complicated than that, but obviously you're not going to vote again for the guy who caused it, right? Well, some people will, and that's fine. I don't think it's going to matter much because... When you have an issue like this that the liberals caused, most people are going to just vote for the other team. They, they might not like the conservatives. They might not like Pierre Polyev. They might not even be conservatives themselves, like me. I'm voting for Pierre Polyev. What, what other choice do I have? Sing? I, you'll never find me vote for someone like Justin Trudeau or Jagmeet Singh. Trust me on that. So I just wanted to kind of go over that really quickly and just kind of highlight exactly how many Canadians are pissed off. I mean, 61, 62, 59, you know, it's just 60. It's that, And then the next issue is 15%. It's very clear um, what Canadians want to happen in this country. And the, the Trudeau, Liberal, and the NDP coalition, they're, they're just going, oh, that's what you want? We don't care. More taxes. Keep raising the prices. Don't build enough homes. We'll lie about everything we say, scandal after scandal, not focusing on the issues that Canadians want, clearly. And there they're going to pay for it dearly. Not soon enough, but hey, when that time comes, that time comes. I also wanted to have a look at this poll. The source is from Polling Canada from May 31st, so just a few days ago. A new poll show Liberals in third place for seats in Ontario. Look at that. 88 for the Conservatives, 19 for the NDP, and look at Little Trudeau at 14%. And most of those are going to be in, you know, Toronto anyway. Outside of Toronto, they're going to get hammered. And of course, I don't want to forget about the Green Party, even though they're very forgettable, but the Green Party led by Elizabeth May, Elizabeth May rather, is at one seat. But I just put it puts a big smile on my face to see that the Liberals are down to 14 and hopefully it goes down to zero or as close as possible to zero. And same with the NDP. I, I want a clean sweep. It's not going to happen, but we need to send a very loud and a very clear message to this horseshit coalition that has been destroying this country for the past few years. Well, nine years, really. I think the coalition, was they haven't been... a. a Jagmeet and Trudeau haven't been working together for nine years. That's been a few years, but Trudeau's been in power for nine years. And it's not going very well. Hopefully this can, this trend continues. I know the Liberals kind of raised in the polls a little bit uh, recently, but I'm not too worried about that. They're still down by 15, 16 points. So we'll have to see, but you know, this is, this is very good news. Um, we are seeing Canada, at least in terms of, you know, the, the we're not going in the right direction now, but the people are going to vote so that we can change that direction at very least. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Uh, what do you, what's your reaction to the Angus Reid data and this poll? I'd love to hear your comments. 
Uh, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the like button. It really helps grow this channel. Thanks so much again, guys, for watching, and I'll be back shortly with another video.